So today we're going to learn that how to create a custom theme for Keyclock. So I'll just log in. When I log in, if you see here, I see a base, a custom, and a key clock theme. If you just go by default, if you don't have anything, like maybe I'll just reset my environment now. So now I have a fresh environment. And if you see, like the background has changed, this is the default background. Earlier it was black, which I showed you. When I log in, I should just see two themes. One is the base theme, other is a key clock theme, right? So now we'll learn that how do we need to show the custom theme Right, which we are developing. So if we look at uh, like whenever you download key clock, so I'm running a container, you can just ignore running a container, right? If you just download, you could just run it as a container or default. So here is how your key clock folder would look like, like after you download key clock, here it how it would look like. When you go to themes, right, you would just see a base theme and a key clock theme, right? So if you want to add a new theme, you would just have to create that theme as a folder and then paste it here. So I would be creating a custom theme. Like this is a theme that I'll, I would be copying this folder over here, which will start showing me a custom theme. So let's copy it over and then see. So I have now copied over this custom, right? So this is the themes folder and this is a custom theme which I have. So now the custom theme, is just there for the login and we'll see that why do we have this login folder so we see this default environment i log in now and now here we see this login and here we see the custom theme also there right and if i see for login theme i see the custom right but if we see for others i don't see the, the custom themes for others so because like within the custom theme, I just, I'm just overriding the login. So whenever you're overriding the theme, I, so the best way is to look at key clock theme because the way it, like key clock does is it has a base theme and then it has a key clock theme, which overrides the base theme, right? So you could follow the same patterns. So right now we've done it for login. And now if you want to do it for like a uh, email theme, you could just cop you could just create a folder like email and then uh, and then create a theme dot properties there or like css so let's see what all goes within a, within any one of these themes right so first is copy create a folder which represents your theme name then like whatever theme you're overriding whether it's login email or admin which corresponds to these four themes right so create those folders so here we're just creating a folder for login and now within login we just see like few fold like one folder and one file so for sure you'll always have a theme dot properties whenever you are extending another theme so let's see how the theme dot properties look like so here i have a parent so you i say that i am extending from parent key clock theme next we say that what what are the styles you want to import right so you i am saying that i want to import like common key clock stuff and then I have these styles. So this is a space separated, if I have a space, space separated list of CSS files that I want to include for the login theme. So if I go to this folder, like within login, I have just custom.css, but I also have, I am also mentioning login.css. So the reason I'm mentioning login.css is because I, I extend from key clock theme and the key clock, if we go to login, uh key clock and then it has a css and it has a login.css so i want to include all of these styles right and on top of them i want to apply my own styles so so it, so here we include all the default styles and now i want to apply my own styles so and if i go to my own styles so here i i'm having background as black i could just change it to red so let's deploy the latest code and see how it looks like so i've deployed the latest so here what we're doing is we're just changing the background color to red and we'll see like why from where this class is mentioning but like here we see like the background is changed to red right so if i go to here i apply custom theme and we save it and now when i log out so we see the background is changed to red
let's change the background color from uh, red to blue and now when we reload we see the blue color is showing uh, other thing to note down is I have added a border and all here right which is aqua so this is applied on the class custom card PF which is the class I have right but uh, how does key clock know that it needs to apply this class so this could be seen from team dot properties that I have so I could just read it by the way if you're liking the video so far please hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up icon because it motivates me a lot remove this which I'm not using so this is the class that I'm applying here so this is the form card class so basically this is a property in my base theme which is the key clock theme so if you go to theme dot properties of key clock right so again like I'm just showing this from uh, key clock and within I go to login and I see the theme dot properties so if I see here so so by default card dot pf is applied but I want to apply my own uh, CSS class so uh, and that's I'm overriding this class so and then uh, which applies custom card pf right so we should so see this so you can see like just in a few lines you could uh, like only modify the classes which you want rather than overriding the entire thing right so all we have done is we have just add a custom.css file so we are extending it and uh, we have added like just a custom class which we could achieve so most of the time when you're doing like uh, updating the login screen and all you don't need to write a lot of code you i like most of the time you could just start with the key clock theme extend it and add your own styles and you should be good so let's again make sure like if we roll back to the the key clock theme we'll see that instead of uh, instead of this custom card pf we should see the container one the container class is card pf so let's just log in so when we go back to the key clock theme log out so you can see it is card pf right so you could this is how you could extend the properties now let's try to see that how does key clock itself apply these style so as we said earlier that key clock itself like in key clock so we have a couple of themes by default one is the key clock theme which overrides the base theme right so so if we see the key clock theme in login it just has a theme dot properties and has a resources folder and if you go to the base theme here it has uh, like few files which is uh, like this is the base theme we go to login and uh, it has some files which which de which decides that how the the template and all like how the html should look like so we see the full html here and now we could also see the theme dot properties so if we try to find this property here so we see this is how it says class properties dot form uh, card class so this is how it applies the card class to the form right so we could if you want to override any of this free market templates you could do it so, so let's try to copy one of the free market templates and try to override it so i'm going to copy this login template and i'll paste it within my custom and then within login and i paste this template so this template would be overridden right so we have this label and all so instead of password you can just say some custom thing by the way if you're liking the video so far please hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up icon because it motivates me a lot so we added this custom label custom password label and if we go to a custom theme now so you see this custom password label is shown so you could change the entire HTML the way you want and all you're doing is you're copying the templates so these templates are there in the base theme just copy the ones you want to override and change the html uh, like the way you want so again like most of the cases you would just need to extend the key clock theme and in very less number of cases you would have to modify the templates but one thing you have to take care is whenever you're modifying the templates 
when you upgrade key clock you have to change your temp templates also so the recommended approach is to keep your changes as minimal as possible and not do those in the templates with this video you are clear that how exactly do you need to override uh, the key clock theme or like how do you need to extend the key clock themes and add your own styling so if you like my video please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel because it motivates me a lot